Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To my loyal subscribers and viewers. Yes, man, a beautiful day. You know, at this channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who respect and love law enforcement officers who are honest, ethical, decent, and conscientious. And most importantly, fear whenever they are doing their job. You know, at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we have said, and we have said it so many times, that we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we hate thief in police officer. Yes, and when we say we hate thief in police officer, we hate them because thief in police officer have given the police force a bad name. Because it's not every police officer in the police force is corrupt, you know, as most people would want to think. Some of them are. And, you know, we who have served work with some of them and they are the ones who have been elevated in the police force. But it all depends on what they are thieving and who they are thieving from. But we do not like the thieving police officers, period. So as you know, that's, I have, you know, known a lot of people in Jamaica, some people because of they know my background, some of them because they know me personally, they know my family and stuff like that. And they know that they can trust me. So they would share things with me. So I want you to listen to this this voice note. You know. This is of a Jamaican man. Yes, being shaked down, extorted by police by by a police officer. Wicked police, and I want you to listen to you know, for yourself in its entirety. I haven't edited anything. There are some, you know, very. Um, there are some words, you know, his choice of words that he have used, but it's Jamaican dialect that some people might find distasteful. So I'm just telling you from before on, but we, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel haven't edited anything because we want you to hear it in its entirety. And I owe police officers in Jamaica who are out there on the street to listen to this man. Because things and time is changing, you know, technology and all kind of thing is catching up with people. So things that people used to do before, you cannot do it anymore. You get caught. And it's it's sad, man. I hate when police shake down the sea and look at poor people. Them. You don't do that, man. You don't rob them. Yeah, you don't have to use a gun to stick up a man, you know, but because you're a police and you have certain powers, you don't do it, man. Because you want to be treated. That's all life's supposed to be. So, before I continue the journey, have you subscribed to the channel as yet? Yeah, man, hit the subscription button. Select all. Like the video. Yes, man, like the video. Share the video and comment below. And I appreciate those who have been sharing the videos. Yeah, man, and thanks for the support. Because we here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we are on Team Jamaica. We are not in a GLP, LGBTQ plus government or any PMP LGBTQ plus party. What we want, we want a better Jamaica. And whoever is willing to do it, that's that's what we want. But we wouldn't mind if it was bar, uh, bipartisan. But we just have to work with what we have. So you watch, you listen and you decide. 2004, I was stopped by one police officer, Philip Engix. Opposite the Caymanans police station. A lot of people know the story, but me hear it some different way. So, me just have a real and the first never come forward to make people know how it really happened. So, when him stop me, him say, driver, you know why me stop you? Me say, no. Him say, because me observe you operating contrary to the terms and condition of your own license. So, I say, yeah. So, I say, give me your papers. So when we gave him the papers then, he checked the papers and everything good. So a passenger was in the car at the time and the passenger said, Officer, like how you check the papers and everything good. Just low make me go now because I depend on rush and I have to go work. And I said, P-Wall, I chat to you. I said, come out of the car, boy. 
and him Jay Puppy guy say, boy, if me find a pin pan you, me lock you up. And you know, after him Jay Puppy guy and him search the guy and him not find a pin as can to him. Him push off the guy and the guy almost fall, fall, you know. Anyway, him come back to me and I say, hey, you see like what boy, this me. I'm going to take away your car now. So you see how the story change now. From operating country, it changed. So I'm going to take away my car now because I'm on the passenger in an altercation. So I start to stay out. 30 days a pound, judge charge 20,000 for country, and the man name out how much money I go pay. Well, that I one of the things where them other do, to bring you to ask them for some assistance. Anyway, when I talk out, and it's like when I'm done, say how much this I go cost and how much that it I know me ask him, you know, I just uh, write him ticket and the same thing, you know, you come up to almost 60,000. So then him say, yo, so I say, Wow, he must say, so you can't do for yourself. He must say, yo, you tell me. He must say, give me 20 grand. I said, 20 grand. I said, I forget 20 grand from. So, any of them say, like him say, give me 15. I said, I have 15. And he must say, give me 10. Make a long story short. I said, yo, you yeah, want no. I have seven. I must say, give me. I said, I have seven from me. I can work on seven figure. You know, him, him take my key. At least him say, drive the car go over the station. So I drive the car go over the station. Him take the key, put it in his pocket and yo, now go up on you king so now show up me. Yo, the man now stop calling me down. Yo, brother, oh you don't reach me yet. I say, Virgin, when I reach home, things change, you know, because you want now. And my wife have a phone card, the, 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 the bank card and she that work. So when she come home, a morning, first thing I go do, I go go to the bank. Yo, the man now start thinking, ah, no, no. As a police officer, him now use no training for say, yo, this boy if he give me a money and he might tell me about bank and all of them things then. So me tell the man that. And by the time he reached downtown at Joke Street, I report the man. The man I call me down again for money. And I tell him say at tomorrow morning I go get your money. So the man call me down. I put your phone pan speaker and the officer where me I report it to. He may not go call the entire staff and say, come listen to this. And when them are listening, say, do you believe this is a policeman that try to extort a taxi man? And the man must say, no man, a lie man. And the man say, he's a policeman, is on the line. And the man them are listen. And say, yo, that boy is a criminal now. And now, I leave, come back over. Um, the man, you know, when this thing operation for go on. Remember, say, me tell the man, say, at 9 o'clock bank open now. He knows the bank open 9 o'clock. From 8.30, the man I call me down. You know. Every time the man call me, I give him a story. And the man not even a thinker say, yo, oh, this boy I give me a story on top of a story. He call me, I tell him the next thing. He call me, I give him the next pill. He just a take a pill them. So I say, come like, he made a hat him then. Why? Why I just a take a pill them? So? Anyhow, up and running now, he come and... Me get him, the man so stupid that me could have bring him inside a Burger King, sit him down, have him in front of me, have two police officers observe all of the transaction, easy. When we finish and me give the man the money, he starts to say, yo, if any boy stop you or no, you see the disrespectful. So him not him as if any police stop your road, you know, him as if any boy out of road stop you or no, call me. So right away now, me know say him want to use me as a feeding tree. So I saw him a deal with the thing. So I said, alright. So I gave him the money, give me a ticket, because the money them done set up and mark already and police done there they and observe him, two female officers. I read them. You see me I say, observe the thing, observe the whole transaction. Anyhow, when they step outside, they long and short, them grab off him and them run and thing. But no, before it even get there, so after me give the guy the money, you know, the guy has said to me as a police officer, the man just robbed me seven thousand dollars. You know? How stupid this man is! The man has said, "Yo, he might go bring me on the bike, figure Gregory Park, go pick up my car." And me I said, "No, man, me style him again." And me I said, "Yo, me don't want a man see me on police bike and call me informer." He must say, "Yo, you too smart, you know." And then me I look at me I say, "You just robbed me." You got to put me behind you, sit down, your gun, I got in at the position of my hand. Me can just pull the holsters and kill you. Oh, oh you feel be a police and think that way, they're so foolish. The man not think no way to protect himself. 
because the man to serve and protect you know. and if him can't protect himself him can't protect the country yo after the thing run out and the court go on and during that time they so the first the first um, reaction to it was the evening when 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 they realized what go on you have you have a police boy when in robinson he was one of them I don't know who else, but I know Robinson, I think he was the one where they work the evening. The man them come out and the man them leave hundreds of commuters stranded because of the incident. What kind of incident is this? A man stand off him right and police are come defend it, I come defend criminal record. Them take up red plate, them take up white plate. No, people have to walk, go home, people have to force you in a little bus to go home because of the taxi them are moving people them fast. But that are the first incident because me have got chop it short based on the amount of harassment and threat. So during the case of man call me and man say boy Ray, give him a chance and thing and that and then me explain to some man and some man say boy if I really say go on. No. Got me know all as for the personal and them come to me and I say yo B, uh, you, you know how the thing set up on you know, a man make mistake and I say I all understand that and when I tell the man how the thing stay the man say yo brother I think you are know and the man a police too you have an ex man call me and I show me certain vibes and I say Ray money and make offer to me and I say brother I catch a man with money no me catch a man money the man set up himself to get catch with money so I saw me stupid to go take money from him anyhow when the court finish the court finished the 20th of September. I never forget that. The 21st man come from Gregor Park. Fim team. Fim team was the quick response. We call them black bike. When you say black bike, you look pan Engix, you look pan Mullins, and you are look pan wisdom and you look pan a big fat woman we ride with them. I think it was four to five of them. I have an ex slim guy. I don't know two of them names. The woman name I don't know and the next slim guy like Hendrix. I don't know for him name. So anyhow, this is the incident now. So when me leave Gregor Park and I come up, as me drive up, the man them stop me. Boom! That are the day after everything finished, you know. We need a search. We stop you. So when them say search, we say, yo, I'm me alone, I want man to search my car. Everybody start back off. Wisdom now, cause him a go on like him a bad boy, you know? Come towards and say, open the car. So I said, open your hand. So for me said, open my hand, him just looking at the car and walk away. That a one incident. Remember one time me I go down Port more Lane and Wisdom see me. Him and one next. Him and must two of them I go down. And when the man come back, the man pull me over. Driver, papers. And him start arrest the passenger or the passenger and have a seat belt and I go lock up the passenger and all of them things there. So I try to intimidate the people in my car. So I say, brother, so I say, passenger, you don't need to answer the police, you know, because you don't pay no fear and this is a licensed car. Anyway, they arrest the man, tell the man, pop out him ID. And he realized that the man a police. So I say, oh, you know such and such. When I drive off, the man I say, yo, how them say taxi man stupid? I said, taxi man is stupid because oh you deal with the police intelligent and thing. Remember me I go me I go me I head for the mall. And I say wisdom, mullins, and where the boy name again? And, and the girl I ride them are head towards Sir Waterford. And the boy them cut it through town centre. And when we reach a mall, a four bike, one at the side, one at east side. One at the front and one at the back. It was like excitement and people say, yo, a dead that brother you're dead now. No. And when them come out and when the when the, when the woman police starts tell me as P wall, batty boy, suck your mother. I saw the man the, the woman I deal with me. No. And I must say, check him, check him. And you know say they were so scared. Me no know for what. Check him. Bizo must say check him, Mullins I said check him, Miguel I said check him man. Me said them style me as peep me said the man them the, the girl style me some way brother. The way how she style me and people they, they I listen everything. I know so them them walk away and not check me. 
them walk with Anna check me. Me remember one time again, me dear Gregor Parker, and me make a, what do call it, U-turn. So I'm going to turn and go over opposite the hardware and park up for grab two passengers to come up on the market. That's how we eat with food. So I see wisdom I come up. So him stop to give me the turn. And I think faster than him. So the thing when I think I said, oh, this guy is my enemy. How come my enemy assist me if he cross the road? I say, no, I not take it. So I'm going to ask a boom now and attempt to cross. And him ride out the back right in the car. So I said, ah, oh, fast thinking. So him stop, him look upon me. Me look in his face. And I said, oh, me think faster than you, you're evil, but a good man you because me, something just come across me and say, boy, this boy you gotta try to create a scene. So when me realize him want me to lick him off of the bike, me stop, low we make him go. By the time me drive Anyway, I go up the road, park at the station. I sit down in my car because I can stay right at the, at the opposite the hardware, which I think it was a wholesale there. And I look straight up the road and then go in at the station yard and park him back and turn him back. Out and I look down the road and watch the car. As I reach up the road, the man ride right out in the bike, in the car. And I shiver my brake and I say, You're not going to make it happen. Anyway, I go up the road. And him a ride on the opposite side of the road. So him almost a ride, him, him a ride a little bit over the chalk line. So if you go over the chalk line, you a ride opposite. Him a set me up for me undertake him so he can charge me for dangerous and reckless driving. Me smarter than him again. Me a say, you fooly. So, me say, me a go pass you. But me a use the road code and pass him. So me say, wait until it. Tell the broken white line come, me I go past you. So when the broken white line come up now, me, me press like me I go undertake him and him swing over and me say, oh, you want me lick you off of the bike. This is the next foolish and stupid police. Me I drive a car, him I ride a bike, him I create an accident and not even thinking that him will get dead in the process. This is all stupid. Oh, this stupid police boy I behave. Me have to say boy because boy criminal because I saw them deal with the thing. So me have to deal with it the way they too. Anyhow, we are go up, we are go up and the man I ride real slow now. And me can't pass him because you can't pass a man on the left. Unless you're in a three lane or you're there in a two lane traffic. But you know just a two lane where one up and one you can't pass a man on the left. Because that is careless and reckless driving. All that don't could have know that. So maybe him checks the taxi man so fool. They go pass him on the left. And him could have get the upper hand. Him can't get the upper hand. Think faster than him again. Now, me this time I go pass him. So me put it down for the left. And him swing so hard for me lick him off of the bike. And me shot it over on the right and pass him. When me shot it, him, him feel so embarrassing. Like a whoom. Turn on him sorry and pull me over. Me still I respect him because he's a police, you know. Even though I'm a criminal and I'm not doing things, me still I respect him because he stopped me. Me don't have no power. Me have to respect the police, you know, no matter what he do. No. So me stop. And I must say, pay what you want to Lick police off of him. Lick police off of his bike. Me say, me don't want to lick police off of his bike. Police want dead off of his bike. The police are all the road and I stop me free movements. Oh, you first stop me free movement. Anyway, I think him did give me one ticket for careless driving. So, me just take it and say, yo, you know what? Just louder. Now, we are going to move on to the next corrupt police officer. This police boy, him, come from Cumberland. And them so stupid. They know all where them live, you know. You know them family, you know. And them are, them are push you to become a criminal and, and to become an hater of police. But let me tell you, me not hate police, me love police. And me say this over and over. My grandfather was a police. And in picture hung up in the house. And me remember when I was a kid, if people talk certain words, man, I say, you know, see, so I'm such a man picture. That all the rating was for police. So me grew up with the respect for respect police law. So me now go to commit myself. So anyhow, this police boy, Ellis, 
and me identify him full twin. And him father police. Them live at Cumberland. I can't even call out the road where him live, man. The boy come a mall and see me park my car. I say, who drive a car here? Him know me. Him know the car. Because my car was a XYZ and everybody know my car. He say, yo, bring the paper come. So by the time I bring it, him starts to say, be well, and him starts to style me up. Remember, says a police officer this, you know. And the man starts styling me up wicked. Anyway, when I go towards the boy, you know, the boy, oh, throw me M16 round him back and open him on to box me down. So I say, I'm not stupid. I'm smarter than you two. So I walk where I left him. The boy take up my car and the boy write up some things. Oh, him see me up. Anyhow, when he write, write when he drop off his summons and I look on him, I said, this is a police boy. Oh, him supposed to him can't write, him can't spell. I mean, me don't know how him become police. He's the next dunce to. I don't know how him become police. Him can't write. Cause him can't write. When you look a bill, I don't know how. I just told me no say whatsoever. Make you could have barely rec recognize some of the word in where I'm right. Like when crab walk in a ink. And then take up my car, him go to court and the judge run him out of court. Him feel shame. Cause the judge say, yo, officer. You say you see this man, you try to stop him, and him elude the police them, and him do all of these things, and you charge him for dangerous and reckless and careless driving, and you are telling me that you see this man the next day park up, and you and he's not in custody today, officer. What you are saying, there is no such story. You are lying. Because if a man commit himself like this and a police officer allow him to walk in at the court like this, something wrong. Anyhow, them run him out of the court. A couple of days after, me out on the mall I walk, me see this red pretty car I come. I say, yo, the car is sweet, he man, the car look. When me look, me see the car I come full speed. When me check it out, Ellis I try to run the car over me. Remember, say, me and Ellis not have nothing, no. Me not disrespect no police, no. Because me have respect to police, and no. If a police tap me, me stop. If them say me commit myself, me just give them a paper. And that's it. And them do what them have to do. Me gone about my business. And there, there, wouldn't be a, there wouldn't be a chance for me. For a police to stop me. Because me out there and me not commit myself. You tell me commit myself, it cost. And me not stupid for I go out there and just give me money. Anyhow, the boy tried to kill me with him car. And I said, you know this thing. Anyhow, I go over 100 man and I talk to Alec man. He looked like he was a superintendent and he talked to him and from that I see him start to uh, stay away. Couple of days after I go back around the road, I see him, him, him a point me out to him friend. Stop him, stop him, stop him. So when them stop me, I say, yo. He come over to me and I say, yo, I know a certain and certain man from down away you there. I'm going to tell them how you program out the road. I say, yo, you see it? He may mention some criminal name to me. Now. That means he's a part of a criminal network. Because I say, yo, I know the man, the man, the man used to go to school and where I say, I'm going to respond to you. But it was a fight. It was a fight. And I must say that, look here. I'm not going to be lying and put anything I add anything, I take away anything. The rest are 100 man police them. Differently from the team which was a quick response with Mullins, Wisdom and the girl. Got me officer girl because she styled me up. They were the only one who, who, who every time them see me them try to pressure me and try to put on some unnecessary thing for me and me always talk to them. Imagine a police are style up as P wall and you answer them yes sir, no sir. And them don't feel embarrassed. Them don't even have nothing about them. So one more police boy again. This one come from Gregory Park named Brown. Him stop me, take from my car, his remarks some man have no mercy when them when them have your upper hand them go on the most way. Oh, what does that have to do? When him give me the ticket, I want next dunce that again. The man write a ticket. Oh, police write ticket. 
a ticket, you cannot write the court date before the fine. Him write the court date before the fine date. That means that the ticket no good because him no give you opportunity to go pay. Anyhow, I'm me just show you all the systems there. I'm going to show you I know every man with them. I call a local bridge and I say, yo, you know, I said, boy, bro, take up my car. And I say, Brown, I say, Brown, I don't know about the man. I say, I junk at that man. And I say, you want back your car? I say, yes. He say, come link me. And the man just link me and he say, yo, the man just call over station and talk to a, a next squaddy. And he's a police. And I say, yo, I don't know, sir, Brown, take up my friend's car. And I say, rare, 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 rare. And the man say, yo, what's the man thing, man? Game. But I know in how I must talk to Brown and release the car. So the whole thing is that the man, them, to build and make Jamaica better because me out there I try to make a living for my family and the one who protect me I push me I turn me into criminal because we, that's why we end up with so much criminal on the bridging because if the police and the criminal are the same way brother but if you go back to even NGX it is not even a sensible criminal because criminal are think faster than him. Him can't apparent. Him couldn't apparent a criminal because he what now. Him not have a head. Them not have a head. Because if you make a man give you so much pill, every time you come here a different story, you can't pick up nothing. So what to your training? You just rob a man and you gotta put him behind you with a gun behind you. With a man can't kill you. Where your head there? Yo, remember when me the pan is standing you know? up. The boy wisdom, the fat girl, and Mullins in you know, the court. Me could have make all the thing worse. Uh, the man did it. The man did it. I wave him hand to me. And I make sign a payment in the courthouse. And me could have just said, yo, you and I, look at that man. Look what he might do. But me say, you know what, let me leave him out. But the thing, the thing is, brother. The man them fit do them work that me say when, when you see them, you respect them. When a good police out a road and even if him apparent a criminal and him do him do diligent and deal with the criminal the right way, the criminal they respect him. I go call a policeman name. I go call Brandon. You know what I go call Brandon? And it, it may be surprising to him why I call him name. You know so one day I out a Britain KFC sit down and Brandon and certain certain police turn up sit down inside there and me sit down about two things behind them and the conversation was they were talking about a police who lock up a guy and like fabricate some stuff and now it's like the police are asked them ask him to forget him out of it and brandon remarks was me if me lock up a man, me lock up a man for what he do. Me not lock up a man and tell lie. If me lock him up for what he do, and the judge not see justify, there is nothing me can do, but me not fabricate nothing. Bridging, when me hear the man say so, no, me say, me say, yo, but this man a real police, and the man a bad man police. The man a bad man police. Anybody know Brandon? Me and Brandon are a friend, so me not want a man feel like say, me a, uh, Try to put you up, no, I mean, no, I don't mean, know Brandon like that. But me overheard the man said something which really shaped me. He said, Yo, a policeman said that the man said, Yo, I'm not lock up a man and tell no life on a man, you know. And he said, That the man, the man always do now. You lock up a man and I try to make a case out and nothing and I waste government time and tax money and all of them things there and other criminal where we get tried, can't get tried because I look a fool, fool thing. So, me just to advise a man, don't support the corruption. I'm going to advise other police, don't support the corruption. I'm going respect all of the police that my 100 man where me out of road and me a do me thing. A man a man see me, if me commit myself a man give me a ticket. Police stop me after that, give me a ticket. No, no vibes on here that them not show nothing, no attitude towards me. Because them I do them thing. And me commit myself, me have to just deal with it. But the one them like, let me just finish it up. The one like Brown, Wisdom, 
Mullins are cowards. So, him always dead when, when wisdom are trying to push it. Wisdom are the one we always are going like him a tough boy. But him not have no sense either because all him want me to lick him off and back. Just, just tell us him a idiot. Brown, so we say, Brown, Hendrix, the girl. But look on it. Look how corrupt this girl is. And she, I think she had a promote to be sergeant or something like that. And these people get promotion. So I tell a man, say, this is my story. A man never hear it. I hear people and make it away and say all of them things. I never want to say this, but I'm going to tell you the psychological thing where I have to use for the boy them, for the boy them, is, is off. You know, so one day, I head to Spice Town and my phone ring and a squaddy call me and I say, yo, me. I say, yo, I say, yo, man. I say, yo. You know, say, Hendrix and my boy, and Rary and a young police, and uh, I know you and a years out in the street, and we know he's a man to come to yourself, but the long and short, we want you to do something for the man. And I say, do what? I say, I don't do nothing for him now because you what now. The man, the man violate the thing, and I be a cheater come. And I say, but I say, yo, I be a cheater come. So, yeah, 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 me tell you. Me they a country. So, why they a country? Me say, me up at me up at him country, me, me know where mother live, me know where father live, me know, me can't tell you the house where I stay and everything and if I saw, if I saw anything happen to me, my dog, them I go deal with it, not no go so. You see from me pull that stunt there from them, me see everybody start to pull off, so you see it? They want to turn me in a criminal, but me not have no intention to become the criminal. So that me use it, we call that reverse psychology because you try to intimidate me for me can't work and support my family. Me have to find a way and how to get my food off of the road. Honest, you can't find your criminal way, but that's one of the methods we use to ease up. From me say that, me notice them start die down, them start die down, die down, die down, die down, tell. Me don't know what become of them, but at this, a sorry thing go, me not add nothing and I must say respect to all police where I go out there and serve and protect me because I call some of them and them name but me know say envy in the thing and bad man in the thing but I just, I just all the group the out of it, hundreds of police are hundred man so me now say hundred man police corrupt me I said that like a faction there, a sorry thing said. Yeah so you know you, you have heard it for yourself from the ass's mouth um, you know the man um, giving his telling his truth you know being framed by the police and then being extorted by officer Hendrix which that is a stupidity on his own you cannot be a police officer and a thief at the same time it's either you're a police or you're a thief you cannot be both because you're not supposed to be enforcing the law then you're breaking the law you know there are consequences for that and as you know, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we get these kind of police. We don't like thief in police. There's so many ways of police to make money out there, you know, than to shake down people. And I applaud this man for, you know, coming out to share his story. He said that he has been hearing different, different versions. So he's a sharing this. You know, and as he has stated that, um, it's not everybody in Jamaica yet police. It's not everybody in Jamaica are criminals. And as he said, it's not every police are bad police. And he named just a few. And for you know, to the po uh, the police officer, you know, you cannot be talking to a man and calling him P uh, P wall or B man and all that. You know, that is very disrespectful. You understand? I call him the B boy and MT. You know, you must be respectful. And um, I have worked with police officers, and I can tell you, very, very, very brave, hardworking, fearless, trust me. And I can tell you, his name is Anthony Newby. I'm going to tell you one up up. And this police officer, even the worst of the worst criminal, I can tell you, whenever he's addressing them, he call him sir or ma'am. You understand? You know, so everybody do things different. But it's, it's all have to do with your, your bringing him. So we are from a society where people um, just behave in a certain way. So you know that that that's just it. So we applaud this. We applaud this. You know this taxman to educate the Jamaican public about how police go about in shaking down people, 
especially taxi drivers, and how he was able to outsmart this police officer. And surprisingly, it's not insulting enough for him to say that um, he didn't know that police officer were this dumb, dumb and stupid and how they cannot spell. So, although they're saying, in my time when I joined the police force, I didn't have any subject or anything like that, and they said no, that they have to have subject. But it seemed like although they have subject, they're, they're dunce, dunces than, you know, than when, when they had joined. Because at least, you know, back then you have to, I don't know what's the requirement now, how it is done. You know, but it is just really, really sad. Yeah, thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica Young Police Channel, out.